I have just woken up. It's Saturday morning, eight o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I'm awake. Let's get into this video. I'm gonna be talking finally about Bubble Spider because I think that it's got to the point where they've improved so much that, yeah, it's time to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about two things in this video. I'm gonna talk about Bubble Spider and what it can do, and then I'm gonna talk about how to verify a keyword to see whether it's actually worth making or not. So what is Bubble Spider? Bubble Spider is, I, I think it's a React app um, that takes information from APIs and it puts it into a readable format for programming noobs like me and you. It's actually made by someone um, who I'm in contact with. So if you have any questions for the maker of this tool, let me know. I talk to him on Messenger occasionally uh, when we want to kind of talk about features or you know other tools, but he says that he's so busy that he can't really work on much else, which is fair enough. So Bubble Spider is completely free at the moment um, and doesn't even seem to have ads, which is pretty interesting. Although as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Oh, these are, are these affiliate links? Anyway, not important. So what can we do here? We can, they've, uh, he's added recently merch by Amazon as well, but there's something that I've always been a really big fan of and something that I've talked about in loads of different videos, which is taking keywords from one print on demand platform, for example, Merch by Amazon, and actually using the same keyword and putting it on to a different platform like Redbubble. The reason I like doing this is because these tools will pick up the keyword on Merch by Amazon and suddenly that Merch by Amazon result will have 10,000 and that's too much to compete. But Redbubble might only have 4,000 or whatever it might be. So that's a really, really good input. I really like this feature here. This is definitely a React app, the more I look at it. So we've got women, uh, boys and girls. So that's four different categories. This, I saw this earlier. This is a really, really good one. So let's just quickly talk about how to uh, verify a keyword. The rest of Bubble Spider is pretty normal. You probably know about it already, to be honest with you, but I do want to talk about how to um, actually verify a keyword once you found one. So let's go with always hungry. Let's see if always hungry is, a, is worth making, basically, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to check trademark. So we'll go to trademark here. Uh, you can just Google trademark here and then go on trademark here and type in always hungry. Okay, is this going to be, oh, it actually is. I oh, know, stay hungry, always eat. I don't understand what's actually trademarked here. I always get so confused. Okay, stay hungry, always eat seems to be uh, trademarked. The term always hungry, continued use, not fired within grace period, unrevivable. It seems that it was trademarked, but it's not trademarked now. Anyway, I, I get really confused by this stuff. So if anyone can help here, then just just check the trademark, first of all. I'm gonna say it's not trademarked, so it doesn't seem to be trademarked. And then what you wanna do is you wanna do always hungry. Just type it in like this, okay? And then the, one of the first ways to see whether this is gonna be a good keyword is to look here, okay? The fact that t-shirt and tank top are the first two results when you type in always hungry. Shirt, t-shirt, tank top. They are the three most popular keywords that are put at the end of this keyword. So already we can see this is gonna be hugely popular because always hungry uh, could also be a medical thing. Like if you go further down, always hungry and tired. That's probably a print on demand show as well. Always hungry syndrome, always hungry at night, always hungry pregnant, always hungry after eating. So the fact that this has medical connotations and yet the main three keywords are still buyer keywords, okay? So let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. Buyer keyword, buyer keyword, buyer keyword. What is a buyer keyword? A buyer keyword is a keyword like this plus a word 
that is a product. So t-shirt, sticker, table, uh, you get the idea. And then these are non-buyer keywords, okay? Uh, this one is questionable, uh, but these ones are non-buyer keywords. So the, yeah, it's just crazy that the first three here are uh, buyer keywords. So I'm gonna do, uh, let's go with tank top, okay? So this is the second way that we start to see whether the keyword is actually worth making or not. Um, so deliver to Italy again, make sure, I always get told this, but make sure you use an American zip code example. Okay, 90210, I should have thought of that one myself. Okay, so 810 results. Okay, that's not that many. Um, it's got the word tank at the end of it there. Yeah, over 3,000 results. Always hungry shirt. Let's go with shirt. 185 results. This is pretty interesting. I would say that this is probably worth making if you're on Merch by Amazon. Uh, let's have a look at Etsy. See how many results it has on Etsy. <clears throat> Get rid of the word tank because it doesn't really make any sense. Only 800 results. Um, again, pretty good potential, honestly. And doesn't look like Redbubble is even here, although they've got an advert here which is pretty bad that they have to actually resort to adverts just to appear on the first page of Google. That's probably a very bad sign. 4,000 results, quite a lot of results, honestly. I would say this keyword is only worth it if you're on Merch by Amazon. If you're on something else, it might not be worth it. Let's take another example. I really, really like this one here. Uh, men's can't work today, my arm is in a cast. So I'm gonna click on it so I can just easily copy and paste the keyword. So first things first, trademark here. Yeah. And then we check it, probably not gonna be, uh, yeah, it's not. Okay, so we now go on Google and we can just search it immediately because everything will be a buyer keyword. Anyway, this is probably why it's the best seller because it's literally the product is number one on Google. That's absolutely insane, the amount of money they must be making from that one design. It's actually insane. Uh, eBay appearing is pretty interesting. And then very, very interestingly, this is a Shopify. This definitely looks like Shopify. Uh, just quick off tangent. First of all, this website has got way too many pop-ups. You need to chill out with the pop-ups. If you ever want to know what website builder someone is using, you right click inspect. I can already see, I, I know for a fact this is Shopify. It could be WordPress, I guess. Do control F and do Shopify. Yeah, it's Shopify. Okay. Um, you can, if that doesn't work, if Shopify doesn't work, you can do WP and then dash admin. A service on WordPress that will also appear. This is super interesting to me. This is what I keep telling you guys about. I'm actually going to save this on my video ideas. Uh, Shopify store appearing. This Shopify store is not very well made. I can guarantee if I did a light speed test, it would be very, very slow. And yet it's appearing for this massive keyword. And not only that, it's the product, okay? It's not like this Etsy page. Oh my God, only 474 results. It's not like this Etsy page. It's not like this Redbubble page either. These are all search result pages. Only 919 results. This keyword is verified. Guys, this is a very good keyword. T Public. this is the product. So what I'm trying to say is there's two different types of uh, external SEO. It can either lead you to the product like this, which is preferable if it's your product, or it can lead you to a search result page like this, okay? Either way is fine, but if you can appear here for this keyword, okay, that's insane. This is someone's website. It's not even particularly well made. The website is really spammy and this is a super interesting website. I think I'm going to do a study of this website for um, for my for a, for a YouTube video. Basically, I want to know everything about this website, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you know whether, first of all, where to find decent keywords quickly, 
using Bubble Spider and secondly, how to verify those keywords to make sure that they are worth making. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content and peace out.